there's always a very dark line at the back of the sea where it meets the sky. Very dark. Hi everyone, I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. So most mornings I come into the studio and I start by going to this uh, 365 Days of Art book by Lorna Scobie and I flick through it until I come to the page where I haven't yet done anything and I start off by just having a bit of a quick warm up. So I just thought I would show you today. I haven't planned anything, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but uh, these are pictures that I've done recently. She provides you with the space, the idea, make two drawings from life in these long thin spaces. I decided to draw my pot plants. This was um, make something, what did she ask? Oh, she wanted something to do with um, paper uh, collage and I didn't do that, I just painted some trees. This one, this section was already painted and the idea is to finish it off. I haven't done this one, it's a lion. I don't want to draw a lion. Seeds flowers, bees. She did these bees here, so I changed them up and made them like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so there's always something. This I did do as a collage. This is um, bits of napkin, paper napkin, that I've mod podged onto there to kind of do my version of this. This is for colour mixing and I haven't done anything there yet. Maybe I'll do that. This one started off with just these shapes. So I repeated them and embellished them. This was started with this and I've um, done this. Um, that was the prompt here and that's what I made of it. This is the one <clears throat> that prompted me to do the painting that we did yesterday on um, the videos. It just had the pots there empty, nothing else. So all the rest of that was me then I redid the whole thing as a video. And then today we have, although we don't all have access to the sea, we can still imagine it. Sit somewhere where you feel relaxed and find some online videos of the sounds of the sea, close your eyes and focus all your attention on what you hear and what it makes you feel. So that's a thought, painting the sea. Consider the colors and shapes of the sea. What marks would you make on the page to represent how you feel? Make a drawing below based on what you've heard. It could be very abstract if you like. I think if I do that now, that is going to be pretty, pretty abstract. So um, first thing I have to do is think about what paint I'm going to use. I've got a number in, uh, seven round nylon brush. Um, I've got some paints here, but these are, these ones are core paint and they are, you could say a little bit excitable. So, oh, I know, here, this will be good. I've got a set of my old pans of blues and greens. Those are the colors that are in here. So I think that's probably a good place to start <clears throat> with an abstract, something like the sea. The paper in this book isn't bad. You can paint on it. It doesn't misbehave too badly. So I think I'll just have a go at that, see what happens. Literally see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, these are a mixture of different paints. There's probably some Windsor & Newton, some Schmincke, maybe some De La Rowney, uh, possibly a couple of um, uh, maybe Sennelier, the French brand, maybe even a Daniel Smith in here somewhere. Um, so I think, I don't know, let's see, five minutes to paint the sea. This is turquoise blue. And uh, then there's another turquoise. That's pretty much the same. And another one. You find out what you've got in your paint box when you, when you do this. Um, when we lived in, um, I lived in the in Bermuda in the Bahamas for a while, and um, 
one of the things I noticed was that there's always a very dark line at the back of the sea where it meets the sky. Very dark. Okay, so, and then we'll need some sky blue, won't we? So I think this one's cerulean. So we'll just put some sky. Cerulean, I think that actually means sky in, I think, Latin. So we'll just put some clouds there. And then we want some, some beach. And of course, the beach is not going to be blue, is it? Could it be green? Could we? I think I, I will have to pick up something which is a little bit on the brown side. So I'm just going to pop into um, pop into this one here. This is uh, quinacridone gold, but it's got some some brown mixed into it. But that will do fine. And we'll just bring in some nice. Anacridone gold there for the beach. And then, not being in too much of a hurry, maybe we'll put some bits of grey. And this could be a kind of rock. And then it makes me think. There could be a shadow of a palm tree. A palm tree could be going up there, so we could just have... That ought to be a bit more blue. Mm-hmm, maybe let that dry. And then, uh, yeah, well, okay. I just don't know what that's going to be like when it's dry. And then maybe, um, if I can find, I'll put some, a little bit more green in the sea. So there we are. I mean, that's not a work of art. That is just literally playing with colours. And um, but now I can get started and actually paint something.